What's going on people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone and in this video I'll be showcasing the new legendary melee weapon from the second Tiny Tina's Wonderlands DLC, Glutton's Gamble. This weapon is insane and it's made that way through its unique effect that takes it above and beyond a lot of the current offerings. I'll be explaining what that unique effect is, why it makes it so good and how you can go about getting one. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to, or you could even follow me on Twitter, and let's crack into it. So the new melee weapon is none other than the Salt and Battery. It's manufactured by Bonk, can come in all the elements, including none, and is dropped as part of the final boss's second form, which opens on the 26th of this month. Like all of the new gear I've found so far, I obtained it from the Wheel of Fortune, but you can go offline to access Phase 2 now, or try the Chaos Bar Bunnies. The Salt and Battery always comes with two effects, Salt, which grants a stacking 20% chance for each swing to be a critical hit, and Battery, which sees it summon a Dagger Storm on criticals and resets that bonus. You can even get a third roll on it too, with Echo and Warrior being great options and it comes ready loaded with a massive 200% critical damage bonus which is triggered often thanks to the salt. What makes this weapon as good as it is, is the dagger storm it summons on criticals which lasts for a whole 7 seconds. Where your typical melee weapon is one and done, this thing ensures you keep hitting for damage after you swing, and huge damage numbers at that. It's not your typical dagger storm either, it's actually true to its name, scaling off of melee damage, which results in some massive ticks as that tornado is swirling round. From the Shadows is your friend with this one because it guarantees that a dagger storm will be summoned, getting the full 200% damage bonus each time you hit something and will have you one-shotting bosses with ease. Outside of From the Shadows you'll be slurping up crits a lot thanks to Salt, and that dagger storm is great while mobbing, firing daggers at nearby enemies and slicing them to pieces. I recommend grabbing an elemental one if you can, I'm not sure how a kinetic dagger storm would go ticking for damage, but either way elemental damage scaling is much much easier to achieve. I just slotted this into my typical build, I chucked on some melee rings, but everything else was pretty much the same, exact same skill tree which heavily favours gun damage and frost, but this electric salt and battery was doing some incredible amount of work. Granted the live wire helps a lot, but that's a mainstay in melee builds now and shouldn't be much of a surprise. Overall this melee weapon is as deadly as they come and if being too close for comfort is your thing, then you just have to pick it up. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, learned of the salt and battery and how you can use it to one punch bosses. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.